All right, so Merry Christmas, and yes, this is a typical Australian Christmas. So there's no snow, but there's lots of sun, lots of surf, um, and definitely lots of drinking. But today, we're gonna make ourselves some drunken cherries. So they're a spiced rum, uh, it's got brown sugar, they're sort of semi-pickled, and they're awesome for a present. So if you haven't done your shopping yet for Christmas, give this recipe a try, put them in a jar, First step is we're going to make our own spiced rum. So it's um, just a standard sort of dark rum, and then we're going to infuse it with vanilla bean, star anise, some cloves, and some orange rind. So super Christmassy. So literally throw them all into like a little pot. You can do this on a stove, camp stove. It's that easy. So straight in, just like that. So just grab your orange, and you're just going to take off a few of the uh, nice strips of zest. So next step is we're going to throw two cups of rum straight in with our spices and orange rind. We're going to add our brown sugar. So there's about a cup of packed brown sugar, or one third of brown What's sugar. Packed brown sugar. Like push brown sugar packed into a cup. Oh yeah, right. So same pot, whack them in there. And what we'll do now is whack them on the stove. You just want to dissolve the brown sugar, but you, you don't want to boil it because if you boil it, you're going to boil the alcohol out of the rum, and then it's not going to it's not going to be drunk in cherries anymore. It won't pickle them properly, and it won't be the same. So you're just warming it. So bring it nice and just over blood temperature. Um, and dissolving the sugar and letting those flavours release from the uh, vanilla bean and the orange. You just want nice, fresh, plump cherries. These are Aussie cherries. I got them today. Um, you're literally just going to dump them in there. So this is nice and warm and what happens is it sort of softens the cherries a little bit. You don't want to boil them in there because you don't want it to turn into like a puree or like a, a compote. You just want it to soften it and get those flavours in there. So literally dump it in the same pot. So you know what, you'd leave this for about five minutes as is and let it sort of come down to room temperature. You know, throw it in a beautiful jar, whack it in the fridge, and like I said, a sealed jar in the fridge will last for a month and a month and a half. Sexy, drunken cherries, super awesome for Christmas present, fit for any Christmas table. Um, if you like our recipes, make sure you subscribe, find us on Instagram and Facebook at Bonda Harvest. See you next week. <laughs>